This is one of the worst attempts at a U-turn I have seen. Completely oblivious and zero situational awareness. The camera wasn't even in his blind spot. He was just completely and literally oblivious. Sir, sir, please don't arrest this man. I just gave him some money. He's, he's a nice guy. This, you're not trying to arrest him, are you? Because I thought you were trying to arrest this man. All right. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right, cool. No, I thought they were trying to arrest that, that guy, but they're not. This driver freaks out at an officer for no reason, and then the cop asks him why he got out of his car at a green. And just what did he think he was going to do if he actually was arresting that person? Join him in the squad car? Wow, one car took out three vehicles a few hundred feet apart. I'm wondering what caused the Ford driver to do this. Distracted driving? Medical condition? I honestly don't know. The camera admits he was wrong and will back off the next go around as this wasn't worth his trouble. That Benz driver was absolutely chaotic and honestly I was expecting a hit and run. Your reply says, I wonder if that is what this is. I also see electric trucks everywhere they're working on the traffic light. Send it. Done. The silver truck will probably get away without getting a ticket. The little car went into his lane and without signaling and in a blind spot given the size difference. 70, oh, you have more eager people. Third, you got, you got is eager. That says something about those Facebook people wanting to be part of the collective. They practically are already. Wow. Man. The camera stopped to help and provided dashcam footage to both parties as well as the officer that arrived at the scene. Everyone was thankfully okay. Remember, break and then swerve, or swerve and then break, but never both at the same time. Doing both throws your car off balance and results in skids, and please don't jerk the steering wheel when trying to swerve. Not looking ahead and making last minute maneuvers in wet conditions is a recipe for disaster. Also, apparently having zero tread left on their tires definitely doesn't help. Over everything in sight, and this week as well, and just because it's, you know, you've had a great year as a short. The driver proceeded without having a clear visual if it was 100% safe to proceed, but did so anyways and got clipped in the process. That was tough to watch. Stay out of the intersection, folks. Everyone involved was seemingly irate and agitated and understandably so. The camera most likely Amazon primed a new pair of briefs after this mishap. Lucky the Jeep pulled ahead into the intersection, otherwise the camera would have had a pretty bad day.
Everyone involved was alright and uninjured. The camera stopped to help and gave footage to the victims and authorities. The person that caused this claimed that their brakes failed. The pickup truck driver pulls out from the parking spot and clips the camera's vehicle. Instead of doing the right thing, he fled the scene, not knowing the camera had a dash cam all along. Apparently this was a DUI. I'm not sure if he landed from space yet, so I need to call Elon and find out if that car is still in orbit. The semi-truck driver lost control and hit a bunch of fences along the way. Thankfully, no one was hurt. I'm not sure what the camera did to deserve this birdie, but she got it nonetheless. It seems like she never attempted to break and was fully committed to that T-bone. The big white arrows painted on the ground are apparently just for decoration. The Kia gets hit by the truck with a trailer. Aggressive driving does lead up to that. <laughs> 